Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is about uh, accounting for depreciation and disposal of non-current assets, and uh, this is one of the challenging questions that I found in the past papers. So I thought to, to make a video on this. So uh, here the question says that Saria owns a business selling ladies' clothing. She maintains a double entry uh, bookkeeping system. So uh, what they're saying is that following of uh, the following occur occurred during September 2020. So they've given you two transactions, and they want you to record them in basically journal entries so they have the first transaction says purchased a motor vehicle on credit from sharp motors so what you have to do is that you do motor vehicle debit so because motor vehicle is coming in the business so you write here motor vehicle debit 6350 and sharp motors credit so because sharp motors is uh, someone who's uh, giving us the motor vehicle on credit so we'll be paying them in future so that is our liability so you write here sharp motors credit and you write here 6350 the next part of um, the same like the next uh, the next transaction here is Ruhi a credit customer was declared bankrupt owing Saria 1200 so basically Ruhi had to pay Saria 1200 um, the debt is to be written off and she is not able to pay so what you have to do is that you need to make an, a double entry for irrecoverable debt so what you will do is that you write here irrecoverable debts debit because irrecoverable debts is an expense so you debit the irrecoverable debts account and you credit Ruhi because Ruhi was someone who was a trade receivable a credit customer and uh, uh, basically trade receivables are your assets and when you need to reduce the asset what you do is that you credit the asset account so you credit 12 uh, ruhi by 1200 and you debit irrecoverable debts by 1200 the next part of the question is about depreciation so they are saying saria is preparing her financial statements for the year ended 30th september 2020 so either year under consideration here that year is basically starting on 1st october 2019 and it is ending on 30th september 2020 so this is the year that you're doing accounting for that is very important because um i'll just highlight the importance of it in a bit as well but um, for this whole thing for this year that we are considering the first thing is that they have given you opening balances so the fixtures and fittings at cost account has an opening balance of 28600 and the provision for depreciation account has an opening balance of 6185 so basically these are two t accounts which has opening balances over here in this question um, what they are expecting you to do is that you they want you to make three t accounts so basically in saria's uh, nominal ledger you have to make these three t accounts one is the fixtures and fittings account the other is provision for depreciation of fixtures and fittings account and the third one is disposal account so what you do here is that you uh, simply uh, you uh, okay so you need to read the transactions as well so what they are doing during the year so during the year they are selling one fixtures which had a cost of basically the cost of it was what the whatever they are selling uski original cost the 1500 so the the fixtures that they are disposing of the cost of it was 1500 that is important information and then they are saying uh, the selling price of this asset now when they are selling it they are selling it for 1150 and they had purchased this asset for 1500 so our cup purchase here that is also very important because they have purchased it on 1st February 2018 this is important because we accumulated depreciation and accumulated depreciation you need to know that uh, when we bought the asset and at that time basically depreciation charge karna shuru karte. and then they are purchasing new fixtures paying by check that is 3500 so they are bringing in more fixtures so what you have to do is the first thing okay Saria's depreciation policy is to provide depreciation of fixtures and fittings at 10% using the RBM reducing balance method a fully as depreciation is charged in the year of purchase but none in the year of disposal we'll deal with that in a bit we'll just do the fixtures and fittings account first so what we'll do is that you'll do a uh, balance brought down so my suggestion is that you always find out the link to the question in the description below so that you know you keep the keep following the question with uh, with the solution that i'm doing here so you start with a balance brought down 28600 is the cost of the asset at the start of the year first october 2019 so during the year you are selling one set of assets that is on january 31 2020 you are selling off uh, you write here disposal so basically in this t account 
जब भी हम और नॉन करंट एसेट्स खरीदते हैं तो हम डेबिट पे रिकॉर्ड करते हैं जब भी हम बेचते हैं हम क्रेडिट पे रिकॉर्ड करते हैं ऑल्सो जब हम डिस्पोज ऑफ करते हैं तो हम हमेशा इस एसेट की औरिजिनल कॉस्ट रिमूव करते हैं ठीक है सो औरिजिनल कॉस्ट इस एसेट की जो हमने बेची थी वो फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड थी सो वील रिमूव फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फ्राम दिस टी अकाउंट नाउ आर दे आर ट्राइंग टू से इज दैट ओके दैन दे आर ऑल्सो परचे इज राइट सो यू राइट यर मार्च and you write here they have purchased paying by check so you need to write bank in the details bank details mein likh denge aur because ye asset business ke andar aa raha hai so debit what comes in so again you write here the cost of the asset that you have purchased that is 3500 and then you will of, of course get a balance carried down so balance carried down because you guys know already you total the heavy side minus the light side so the total of the debit side is 32 One hundred, you subtract fifteen hundred, so you get thirty thousand six hundred as your balance carried down. This will be December. Oh, oh sorry, this will not be December. Uh, again, this will be September twenty twenty, end of September twenty twenty. So thirtieth September twenty twenty. When you balance this account, so you need to total this thirty two thousand one hundred, thirty two thousand one hundred on the debit side as well. This balance carried down. So basically, this was balance carried down. Balance carried down becomes your balance brought down for the next uh, for the next period that is uh, for the next year that is first October twenty twenty and this will be thirty thousand six hundred. So yes, this is your fixtures and fittings account. Quite very very simple. Fixtures and fittings account is normally non current asset is very simple to make. So basically, what you do is that uh, you record the the non current assets that you have purchased during the year. You also record what you have sold. So जो आप sell करते हैं उसको disposal के साथ आपने original cost लिखनी होती है because this account is maintained at cost. ये बात बच्चों को समझ में आनी चाहिए that all of the values in the non current asset account are all of them are cost so when you are disposing of an asset you also remove the cost of the asset ki jab humne kharida tha to humne cost pe hi usko record kiya tha in the same account so you need to remove the cost of this asset so that you uh, you come with a balance carried down which is the cost of the assets at the end of the year jo ki 30600 hai is case mein Okay, so the next part of it is the depreciation account or depreciation account. Normally, is uh, is difficult to handle. So you need to be very, very. Uh, firstly, you need to read the question very well, very, very well, and then what you do is that you proceed with the uh, workings. So basically, do the workings first. So यहाँ पे हमें ये पता चल गया है कि हमारा जो आर बी एम मेथड यूज़ करना है और टेन परसेंट आर बी एम मेथड है एंड फुल ईयर डिप्रिसिएशन इन दर ऑफ परचेज नन इन दर ऑफ सेल सो जो फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड का एसेट हमने खरीदा था और जो अभी बेचा है उसको हम इस ईयर डिप्रिशिएट नहीं करेंगे सो वॉट यू डू इज दैट नाउ फॉर आर बी एम वॉट यू द फॉर्मूला दैट यू यूज़ फॉर आर बी एम इज कॉस्ट माइनस एक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई परसेंटेज सो इफ़ यू लुक हेयर यहाँ पे इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ ये है कि जो शुरू के बैलेंसेस हैं उसके कॉस्ट के बैलेंस में 1500 हंड्रेड इंक्लूडेड है और उसी तरह उसकी एक्यूमलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन के बैलेंस में 6185 के अंदर उस एसेट की डिप्रिसिएशन भी इंक्लूडेड है जो हमने बेच दिया है तो हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा कि हमें सबसे पहले कॉस्ट रिमूव करनी पड़ेगी फ्राम दिस फ्राम दिस Basically, you remove the cost from this. So, fifteen hundred minus carrying it. So, you will be left with twenty-seven thousand one hundred. So, not now. What I am doing here is, I am to trying to calculate the depreciation for the current year, uh, right now. ठीक है? तो current year की depreciation निकालने के लिए सबसे पहले आप remove कर देंगे. Current year की depreciation भी साथ साथ निकालनी हो. Disposal की value भी साथ साथ निकालनी हो. So, accumulated depreciation on the asset that I have disposed of. Also, the current year depreciation, that is the income statement value, that will be charged against the profits. So, to reach to the income statement value, I need to know कि मेरी accumulated depreciation क्या है उस asset की जो मैंने बेच दिया. So, what I do here is that uh, firstly, मैं 1500 तो remove कर दूँगी, so I'll be left with 27,100. What now? The main calculation here is that I don't know what is the accumulated depreciation of that asset which I have disposed of. ठीक है? तो मुझे लेकिन डेट ऑफ परचेज पता है ठीक है सो जो डेट ऑफ परचेज थी वो फर्स्ट फेबरी 2018 थी एंड नाउ विद माय आई नीड टू गो बैक इन द टाइमलाइन सो द टाइमलाइन हियर इज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अक्टूबर 2017 सेवनटीन टू थर्टी सितंबर 
2018 was the first year of this asset जो अभी मैंने भेजा है ठीक है तो ये इसका फर्स्ट ईयर था और इसमें मुझे फुल ईयर्स डिप्रिसिएशन चार्ज करनी है अकॉर्डिंग टू अकॉर्डिंग टू द पॉलिसी द सेकेंड ईयर फॉर दिस एसेट वॉज फर्स्ट अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी से लेकर थर्टी सितंबर 2019 एंड द थर्ड ईयर जिसमें हम बेच रहे हैं दैट इज़ फर्स्ट अक्टूबर 2019 नाइनटीन टू थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर और इस ईयर में मुझे इसको डेप्रिशिएट नहीं करना है सो आई डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट द थर्ड ईयर बट दिस डेप्रिसिएशन दिस एसेट विच आई हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ नीड्स टू बी डेप्रिशिएटेड फॉर टू ईयर्स वही उसकी अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन होगी सो वट आई डू हियर इज दैट ओके सो कॉस्ट इन द फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ कोर्स इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड माइनस अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन इन द फर्स्ट ईयर इज ऑलवेज जीरो एंड देन यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन परसेंट सो यू गेट वन फिफ्टी डॉलर्स एज डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन दिस एसेट विच यू हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर देन वॉट यू डू इज दैट यू डू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड माइनस वन फिफ्टी तो वन फिफ्टी अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन हो जाएगी सेकेंड ईयर में एंड देन यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन परसेंट सो यू गेट वन थर्टी फाइव so here you go that is 150 plus 135 gives you 285 and 285 is the accumulated depreciation on that asset which you have disposed of theek hai to 285 uski depreciation and now what i do is that income statement ki value nikalne ke liye mujhe initial balances mein se i need to remove uh, 285 as well so initial jo meri accumulated depreciation thi opening balance usme se main 285 remove karungi so i'll be left with 5900 ठीक है फिफ्टी नाइन हंड्रेड सो अगेन नाउ आई नाउ फॉर द इनकम स्टेटमेंट वैल्यू व्हाट आई डू इज दैट आई राइट हियर ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टी नाइन हंड्रेड जो कि रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ रिमेनिंग एसेट्स इज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड अक्यूमुलेटेड अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द रिमेनिंग एसेट्स इज फिफ्टी नाइन हंड्रेड एंड देन यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन परसेंट सो वॉट यू गेट इज टू वन टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज़ फॉर द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस इज़ फॉर द डेप्रिसिएशन फॉर द करंट ईयर फॉर द रिमेनिंग नॉन करंट एसेट्स ऑल्सो हमने एक नया एसेट ऐड किया है थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड का सो थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन परसेंट अगेन गिवज मी थ्री फिफ्टी सो द इनकम स्टेटमेंट वैल्यू इज टू वन टू जीरो टू वन टू जीरो प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी विच गिवज मी टू फोर सेवन जीरो टू फोर सेवन जीरो इज द इनकम स्टेटमेंट वैल्यू फॉर द करंट ईयर सो नाउ टू एटी फाइव इज द डिस्पोजल वैल्यू फॉर द फॉर द डिस्पोज ऑफ एसेट दैट इज द अक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन ऑन द एसेट दैट यू हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ नाउ वॉट यू डू इज दैट टू मेक द प्रोविजन फॉर डिप्रिसिएशन अकाउंट वॉट आई डू इज आई स्टार्ट विद द बैलेंस ब्रॉड डाउन दैट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज टू वन एट फाइव ये अक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन थी सॉरी सिक्स वन एट फाइव ये अक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन थी एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द ईयर सिक्स वन एट फाइव एंड द डेट विल बी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ओके सो ऑन थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर वॉट आई चार्ज इज विल बी माई इनकम स्टेटमेंट थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इनकम स्टेटमेंट एंड दिस विल बी द वैल्यू विल बी टू फोर सेवन जीरो ओवर ईयर ठीक है और यहाँ पे जिस जो मेरे डेट ऑफ दिस डिस्पोजल है जनवरी थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी I'll write here disposal, and this will be two uh, eighty five. That is, two years' accumulated depreciation will come here. Now, what I do is that I calculate a balance carried down. So, simply balance carried down. Guess how much will get? Six one eight five plus two four seven zero minus two eighty five will give me eight three seven zero. If you put that in the calculator, so balance carried down. Always, how do we calculate? We calculate total of the heavy side minus total of the light side. So this will be September, thirtieth uh, September, twenty twenty, and then you will balance this account. You'll write here eight six five five, and uh, the credit side will also be eight six five five. and this account will be balanced then you calculate basically the balance carried down will become your balance brought down so you write here balance brought down and you write here 8370 and you write here 1st october 2020 and that's it for the provision for depreciation account now since you've done all the hard work so you just have to put uh, the values in the disposal account so what you'll do is that simply ye jo cheez hai ये डिस्पोजल की जो वैल्यू है दिस बेसिकली कम्स हियर सो वॉट आई डू हियर इज दैट आई राइट हियर फिक्सचर्स एंड फिटिंग्स
ठीक है एंड देन दिस विल बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड देन दिस वैल्यू द डिस्पोजल दैट इज अक्यूमुलेटेड डिप्रिसिएशन ऑन द एसिड दैट यू हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ दिस बिकम्स योर प्रोविजन फॉर डिप्रिसिएशन ऑफ योर प्रोविजन फॉर डिप्रिसिएशन एंड देन दिस विल बी टू एटी फाइव सो टू ऑल्सो यू शुड ऑल्सो नो कि प्रॉफिट या लॉस ऑन डिस्पोजल जो है दे आर टू वेज टू कैलकुलेट इट वंस दैट यू वन इज द बैलेंसिंग फिगर ऑफ द डिस्पोजल अकाउंट इफ़ यू आर नॉट इफ दे जस्ट डायरेक्टली आस्क यू कि प्रॉफिट या लॉस ऑन डिस्पोजल कैलकुलेट करें तो आपको सिंपली क्या करना पड़ेगा आपको नेटबुक वैल्यू ऑफ द नॉन करंट एसेट विच यू हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ उसको निकालना पड़ेगा सो इस केस में नेटबुक वैल्यू ऑफ द नॉन करंट एसेट विच यू हैव डिस्पोज ऑफ विल बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड दैट इज कॉस्ट माइनस अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन दैट इज टू एटी फाइव दैट गिवज यू वन टू वन Five. That is the net book value of the non-current asset which you have disposed of. Now, what you do is that you compare this with the selling price. So, when net book value is greater than your selling price, which in this case it is, so that is the case where you have a loss. So, basically, you expected one to one five. You collect. You expected to collect one to one five from the sale of non-current asset, but you actually received one one five zero. So, what you do is. that this will the difference between the two so the net book value and the selling price the difference between the two is the loss so loss is 65 over here so uh, the basically uh, depreciation ke account uh, disposal ke account mein there will be non current asset on the debit side jo ke fixtures and fittings hai is case mein on the credit side you have provision for depreciation the third double entry for disposal is bank debit disposal credit so in the bank account you write disposal on the debit side in the disposal account you write bank on the credit side you write here bank and you write here 1150 which is what you have received uh, by selling the non current asset and you have received the money in check so you know this by this uh, basically these are the keywords to tell you that you have received money by check theek hai uske baad ab ye account balance nahi hoga तो अब ये अकाउंट क्यों नहीं बैलेंस होगा क्योंकि लॉस हो रहा है तो आप यहाँ पे जो है उसको बैलेंसिंग फिगर बना देंगे इनकम स्टेटमेंट लिखेंगे यहाँ पे एंड दिस विल बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू द टोटल ऑफ टू साइड सो बेसिकली द टोटल ऑफ द डेबिट साइड विल बी इट्स फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड द टोटल ऑफ द क्रेडिट साइड इन दिस केस इज वन फोर थ्री फाइव सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इज सिक्सटी फाइव एंड सिक्सटी फाइव इज द लॉस हियर Uh, then you balance this account at fifteen hundred. So this loss on disposal will be sixty five dollars. And basically, date of disposal is the date of January thirty one, January thirty one. And income statement ki the date. You know, income statement is always made on the last date of the year. So you write here is thirtieth September, twenty uh, twenty. That's it. This is how you deal with a question like this. So basically, we covered. three uh, types of t accounts over here one is the non current asset account uh, the other is the provision for depreciation account the third one is the disposal account so thank you very much for watching